and welcome to my art channel. I love to share awesome painting tips with you guys because I don't believe that painting and art has to be hard and today's video is all about three tips to make your acrylic colours brighter because that's what we want guys isn't it? Lovely gorgeous bright colours. This is why I've got my super bright colourful shirt on today. So let's get into the three tips. Before I do that I want to let you know that my online art course called Learn to Paint with Confidence has a huge colour mixing section in and we dig deep into all things colour in there so if you are really looking for some more help around colour mixing you can head for a free taster session for the course if you check out the description and there will be a link there you can click and you can watch a free taster video for that course and I'll also pop the link in a comment so I'll pin the top comment with that link in if you want to go check it out it would be great for you to do so and let's get into the tips so my first tip for making your acrylic colours brighter is to get a, a decent brand of paint. Very often we can pick up, you know, these cheaper art supplies and unfortunately the pigment is never gonna be as good as if we invest in some better quality paint. Now the thing is, the more expensive quality paint obviously is a bit more pricier, but you end up using so much less because a small amount of paint goes a much further way whereas when we buy a lot of the cheaper paints around we tend to like use a lot of it because it is a watered down pigment and also the pigment is not strong so I'll pop some brands that I recommend in the description box one of which Golden Artist Colours which is what I am currently really enjoying for acrylic paint also Winsor & Newton is also a great brand as well but basically just invest in what you can afford and if you do end up using cheaper quality paints that is also fine I've got two other tips to help you. Tip number two for brighter colours is to actually place your brighter colours next to duller colours. Very often when we first start painting we just want all the bright colours all over the canvas to give it that wow effect and actually what that ends up doing is making the painting really overwhelming to look at and it's kind of just a bit too much too bright. Now what we want to do is we want to create like a stage ready for those bright colours to pop and for that to happen some of the other colours just need to stand back a little bit and just let that colour shine. And how to do that is to mix opposite colours together to dull those colours down. Here's a little example of a painting that I did in the summer of some daffodils. Well I guess it probably would have been spring to be fair. <laughs> but you can see that these yellow colours are standing out quite a lot. They're, they're kind of like the bulk of the painting, what makes that sing. Now there's two things that I've done here regarding the surrounding colours. One of which is to have a duller yellow here. So this is like a, a yellow ochre colour and this is like a, a cad light yellow. Now you can see that the duller yellow actually makes this yellow stand out a lot more. And that's kind of what I mean by creating like the stage and set the scene for that brighter colour to pop. Now there's another thing I've done is that is use the opposite colour on the colour wheel. So yellow and purple are actually opposites on the colour wheel and that will again make those colours pop even more because you're putting it next to an opposite. So there's just a couple of ways that that can be done. That is quite an in-depth subject which I could go into a lot more in detail on that. So if you would like to delve deep into how to use complementary colours then go and check out the free art class and that's something that I definitely cover in my online course. Tip number three is to use a glazing medium in the end result. So once you've kind of got most of the painting down, you can go over it with a final layer of glazing solution. Now, this is my favourite brand. This is the Satin Glazing Liquid by Golden. It's just a light, flowy medium which you can add to your colours to make them more viscous and it's also transparent. So the thing is, what we don't want to be doing to make our colours brighter is add white. That's going to make them lighter but it's not going to make them brighter. Adding white will actually make your colour less bright. It will kind of make it duller, even though it's lighter in value, if that makes any sense. And whereas adding this glazing liquid actually really keeps the pigment bright, but it gives it that transparent feeling so that you can add lots of glazes and bring that brightness and really make those colours vibrant and pop. So those are my three tips for making your acrylic colours brighter. I really hope you enjoyed them. Let me know in the comments which tip was your favourite and which one you want to learn more about. And as I mentioned before, if you would like a free art class and a free taster session to my online painting course, then just check the description for the link or I'll also pop it in a comment and you can come join me and we can talk about art. I think it's like an hour long and uh, hopefully you'll get lots of inspiration from it. So thanks so much guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!